welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new this is every bit of brie and today we're doing a twist out in my truck if you paid attention to the first three steps we're just gonna comb my hair out spritz it with water add mousse and twist here i'm slowing it down so you can see exactly how i'm twisting i am twisting my wrist then twisting the hair around twisting my wrist twisting the hair around, twisting my wrist, and twisting the hair around. This hairstyle is perfect if you're trying to extend or, you know, avoid wash day and just look decent in the meantime. So far, I just have three twists in the back of my head and two above there. And on the sides, I'm taking bigger pieces because my hair is longer in the front and in the sides than it is in the back. So to get the definition in the back, they need to be a little bit smaller. And as you can see, I am not parting my hair. I'm just pulling chunks that feel right and that I could touch the root on so that the roots can be smooth. I'm just adding the rough part towards the middle of my head because I know that I want both sides of my hair to lay on the sides like in the middle part here I'm showing you guys just how drastic the difference is between the length in the front and the back of my hair is the front of my hair is almost double the length as it is in the back I don't know why that is um, but I'm trying to grow it and I'm trying to tell y'all the way that I twist my hair is the truth um, these twists have been up only for about 10 minutes and you can already see the definition in them. So my wrist twist the wrist twist the hair method is the best way to twist your hair. And here's where I messed up. <laughs> um, so some of the twists were still wet. I was supposed to blow dry my hair that night, but I ended up just going to sleep. And I refused to wear these twists all day, so I went ahead and still took it down. But my error leaves room for a teaching moment because I'm going to show you guys how you can get rid of some of that frizz that you'll get when you take down wet twists. Being really gentle and adding oil to your hands is one way to reduce the frizz in your twist out. And another way is to finger coil your hair in the direction that the curl is going in.
to avoid doing all the finger curls, you want to make sure that your hair is completely dry before you take it down. Um, if you look on the left side of my head, you'll see a shiny piece right now. That piece wouldn't coil for nothing in the world. So I did add a little bit of Eco Styler Gel and finger coil that and that'll dry. And that's another method. And here we are with our final results. I am loving it. Thanks for watching y'all and I'll see you in the next one.